Hello Aquarius, welcome to a you and them love reading for October. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. Uh, check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign. You could do that by checking out the description box. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked there, so you can check your other placements. Okay, so let's jump right in for Aquarius. Okay, great. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> okay, um, bear with me, Aquarius. I don't know what's happening. So let's try that again. <laughs> for Aquarius, regarding love spirit. This is going to be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. What does Aquarius need to know regarding love for October? 2021 spirit for Aquarius. What's Aquarius need to know regarding love? So let's start with what's going on in your connection. What's going on between you and this other person? Spirit, what can you tell us for Aquarius? What's going on for them in love? What's going on in the connection between Aquarius and their person? Seven of Swords, okay. What's going on in this connection between Aquarius and their person? What's going on? The World Reverse, okay. The Fool at the bottom of the deck. So obviously someone is hiding something or being sneaky here with the Seven of Swords. Um, the world reverse could mean that there's a delayed new beginning or a cycle is taking a while to close. Maybe someone is, uh, what's the word? What is it, Henry? Maybe somebody is just not prepared for a cycle to close, is delayed from closing a cycle. We'll have to see what that's about. Um, but what I got here was almost like someone is getting in their own way that's kind of how i'm seeing this so far let's see what the seven of swords is about why is the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here the knight of cups reverse yeah why is the seven of swords here someone's behavior has led to difficulty the high priestess reverse. I feel like whatever someone was doing in secret or whatever someone was doing here that wasn't the best course of action or the best, I guess, the best way to go about doing something, you know, their behavior. I feel like they were found out with the high priestess reverse. They might have hurt somebody through their actions because the knight of cups is reversed. This could be you, this could be your person. You know, this is what's going on between you. So both of your energies are here. I feel like this was somebody that was hiding something. Tell me about the world reverse. Why is the world reverse? King of Swords reverse, yeah. Why is the world reverse? Ace of Swords. So I feel like the truth came out or the truth was figured out basically with the Ace of Swords. Like I see someone investigating, looking things up, looking into things, um, and they were able to get the truth. Um, either they found the truth out or they discussed something. So what I see here is almost like there could have even been a situation where there wasn't closure because someone didn't know all of the facts or someone wasn't able to start a new cycle because the old cycle was still, I guess, unfolding. What's this Ace of Swords about? Maybe somebody just wanted to know the truth so that they could decide what to do. Knight of Swords. Yeah, there was some sort of um, truth or message that came out here.
Tell me about the High Priestess reverse. Why is the High Priestess reverse? Yeah, the sun. This was clarity. Something, basically what happened between you is, for the Aquarius or Aquarians that I'm talking to, um, you were dealing with a situation, you or your person, where something came to light. There was some sort of truth that came to light. You figured something out. You realized the truth. There was all of a sudden clarity about someone's behavior or something that was hidden. I mean, it's just all over this spread right now. This could have resulted in a fight or this could have resulted in, you know, someone just being caught in a truth about something. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, typically the Queen of Pentacles tends to already be in some sort of a commitment. Um, they're great partners, the Queen of Pentacles, dependable, abundant, successful. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. So what I'm getting is that something here, um, someone wasn't able to put in the right amount of effort or wasn't didn't want to put the right amount of effort. There could have been a particular person here that just didn't want to continue working on this. Or maybe this Queen of Pentacles realized that this wasn't enough. What they were getting was not enough. Not at least to the scale that they are used to or deserve. So let's see what's going on between you and this person. What are your energies? Spirit, can we get some insight into the energies between Aquarius and their person? What do we need to know? Tell me about Aquarius. and their person. Tell me about Aquarius. Aquarius, I'm gonna have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies. Burdened heart, okay? So you're burdened way down, excuse me, way down by what's happening. Maybe you feel like this is just too much for you. Tell me about the person Aquarius is dealing with. What's the energy for the person that Aquarius is dealing with? Oh, I got two. Judgment, call, and hidden motives. Yeah, I feel like your person was probably the one that was hiding something. I feel like they messed up. They made the wrong choice. At somewhere down the line, they, they made the wrong choice. They probably were thinking that they could hide something from you or that that was the best option, but I don't think it was. What else do you need to know about Aquarius and the person they're dealing with? What else do we need to know about the energies? Okay. Between Aquarius and the person they could be dealing with here. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. What are their energies? Rabbit. Well, the rabbit is about fear. Um, they tend to be a bit anxious. Um, they worry. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. The hummingbird. A lot of energy with the hummingbird. Oh my God, I'm just, I am a mess today. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I keep dropping everything and. Okay, so the hummingbird. Positive, enthusiastic, resourceful, endless well of energy and positivity. 
It has learned where to gather nectar and re returns to these sources daily for nourishment. Every droplet of life becomes sweet every moment worth savoring. Curious, smart. Could be pushy or insistent. I'm getting I'm, this part. You know what I, I was thinking about when I put this card down? Someone that's going back and forth, back and forth, you know? It's almost like this person is trying to figure out what to do now that this situation has maybe gotten out of their control a little bit. Um, I think when when I when I read that about the hummingbird knows how to go back to the source and kind of replenish, it's almost like this person's going back to the typical ways of doing things for them. Or, you know, well, that worked for me that one time, so I'm gonna try it again. I get some more insight about Aquarius and this other person. Tell me about Aquarius. What do we need to know about Aquarius? I think you're worried about something. I think you're also maybe a bit stressed with whatever's happening. Um, maybe this is just becoming too much for you. Nine of Cups, Eight of Swords Reverse. Maybe you're overcoming this, trying to free yourselves from this with the Eight of Swords Reverse and think about yourself with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, King of Cups Reverse. Seven of Pentacles Reverse at the bottom of the deck. Typically, the Seven of Pentacles Reverse could be a card about feeling like you've wasted your time or you spent time and investment and resources into something that you shouldn't have. Um, I think this person that you've been dealing with, um, things have not been easy. Um, King of Cups reverse, I'm, I'm picturing you not really knowing how to feel. Maybe your feelings change a lot depending on the situation. You know, maybe you have really good days with this person, but then there's also a lot of bad days. So it's almost like an emotional seesaw. Tell me about the King of Cups reverse. Why is the King of Cups reverse? Yeah, Page of Cups reverse. I feel like you're disappointed and heartbroken. Things just haven't worked out. Tell me about the Eight of Swords reverse. This could also be you not being able to express yourself or your emotions, Knight of Cups. A lot of emotions here, a lot of cups. Tell me about the Eight of Swords Reverse. What else do we need to know about this Eight of Swords Reverse? Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. So what I'm getting here is, I, I get, I'm getting like a hopeful energy, like you're hoping for the best, but I don't know if it's with this person or just in general. I feel like you want long-term success, security, stability, Maybe you're seeking a long-term commitment. Maybe you're hoping that you'll get an apology from this person because sometimes the Knight of Cups could be an apology. But really what I'm getting here is you, it's like almost like you have mentally dropped the rope or this is what's happening. It's almost like this has become too much and you're thinking about where you should invest instead because maybe things that just haven't worked out right now the way that you we're imagining it and so maybe you're wondering what else is out there because the nine of cups is here and the nine of cups is about emotional satisfaction getting um, your wish granted or feeling very satisfied with what you've accomplished emotionally satisfied right and so I don't know I, I get the sense that you're thinking about yourself right now because clearly something here isn't great Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Three of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Let's see. Are there multiple people involved here? Seven of Wands reverse. Yeah, again, you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to keep fighting or dealing with a, a challenge with the Seven of Wands reverse. I think there's um, 
pe there might be friends helping you or maybe friends that are encouraging you. I'm getting that there's like multiple people that are observing all of this. But I get a very positive energy. Okay, so let's look at your person. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. What are their energies when it comes to Sagittarius or this connection? What do we need to know about this person? Judgment. Maybe this person wants a second chance with you or to make a different judgment call because the first one was not good. Queen of Wands. What do we need to know about this person that Aquarius is dealing with? Okay, that's a lot. The Chariot Reverse, Cancer Energy. The Tower Reverse. Six of Wands Reverse, yikes, not good. And the Fool Reverse. Okay, so this is very similar energy. All of these energies, the Chariot Reverse, Tower Reverse, Six of Wands Reverse, Fool Reverse, it could all be like a story. Let me see if I can move this down. Yeah, this could be kind of like a story because the full reverse is someone that doesn't really think things through, could be a bit reckless. They might hesitate or procrastinate. And then the six of wands reverse is someone that's not successful. And the cherry reverse is someone that's stuck, unable to move. So all of this could be adding up to, you know, a lack of success and I think it's because this person's trying to avoid a tower with the tower reverse like they're trying to yeah six of pentacles reverse though it's like they're trying to knock it, it, they don't want to make things worse but I feel like this person did a big they, they they're how do I say this they made a mistake a big one and it could have been something small. They Maybe they just hid how they felt about something. Maybe it was a white lie. Or it could have been something big. The, the end result is the same. Tell me about judgment. I feel like they're trying to do damage control. Basically. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is about a second chance beginning again. Having a new beginning, but I just don't see how they're going to do it. I feel like their approach has gotten them in trouble because now they're stuck. Tell me about the full reverse. Why is the full reverse? Queen of Cups. So I feel like there's a lot of attraction to you and feelings for you here with the Queen of Cups. But with the full reverse, I'm getting that someone's not able to take the action necessary. So if it's that they have to take a risk or if they have to start a new journey, if it's that they need to begin something new, a new cycle, that's not happening. Because the fool is reversed and the chariot is reversed. So it's almost like this person wants to maybe rebalance the situation or have a second chance with you, but they don't really want to do anything different. It's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. Can we get some insight into what this person is thinking, feeling about Aquarius? What are they thinking, feeling about Aquarius? What are their energies towards Aquarius? Expect a message. I have a lot on my plate. Okay, let's get the hidden truth oracle oracle here too. What else? All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box if you want to check them out. Okay. What are their thoughts, energies, feelings? towards Aquarius spirit. What do we need to know? You are the best thing in my life. Yeah. There's a bit of regret here. 
so many things remind me of you yeah so what i'm getting here is this person is not does not have access to you and they they want to reach out to you with expect a message i have a lot on my plate and i feel like this person is probably going to i mean i hate to say this you know but it's almost like this person might might be coming to you with some excuses for why things are not happening and it's up to you to take that at face value or you know to ignore them uh, completely up to you Aquarius but that's what I see for October regarding how you feel about each other and what's going on right now we're going to take this to the extended and the extended I'm going to look at where is all of this headed next um, are they going to reach out and communicate I feel like they are and what's going to happen with all of that we're also going to look at what's challenging or blocking this connection from moving forward because I do see that that's a problem so if you want to get more insight check out the extended it'll be linked in the description box Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe uh, so you can see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.